Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the penis. So, what is penis? The penis is the male copulatory organ. It is the passage for the urine, also for the semen. What are the component parts of the penis? The penis has the root of the penis and the body of the penis. The root is composed of the crust of the penis, the crust here, one crust, another crust is there, and the bulb of the penis. Okay, so two crusts, one bulb forms the root, and this part is the body of the penis. It is composed of three cylindrical structure corpus cavernosa on both sides that is corpora cavernosa one is here another one is here the third one is the corpus spongiosum and the spongy part of the urethra passes through the corpus spongiosum and the expanded part expanded part of the corpus spongiosum forms the glans penis what is tunica albuginea? Tunica albuginea are fibrous tissue that surround the each cylindrical structure. We we'll get tunica albuginea here. What is box fascia? Box fascia is the deep fascia of the penis that encircle all three cylinders, like the corpus cavernosa two and the corpus spongiosum. Which part of the penis contains spongy urethra? That is the corpus spongiosa. This is the corpus spongiosa. It contains the spongy urethra. Okay. What structure forms the root of the penis? We just got that cross of the penis, two cross, that cross is attached to the issue of pubic rami okay and this is the bulb of the penis bulb of the penis is the passage for the urethra going through the bulb of the penis then the corpus spongiosa going through the navicular fossa and opening into the external urethra meatus this is the prostate gland so here is the root of the penis this is the body of the penis and it, we have it has the corpus cavernosum both sides there is a septum here septum penis here that septum is discontinuous posteriorly at the root and the glans penis is formed totally by the corpus spongiosum in the glans penis this part is called the Corona glandis. Beyond that part, there is constriction on the penis that is called the neck of the penis. Okay. So, what is the navicular fossa? Navicular fossa is the part of the sponge urethra in the glans penis. We'll look at that image very soon. What is magma? Smegma are the sebaceous gland present underneath the prepuce or foreskin and also at the corona glandis area over the glans penis area. So these are sebaceous gland, they have pungent order. What is the septum penis? Septum penis is the septum, tissue septum between the two corpus cavernosum. Okay, that is not continuous in the root, the root they are separate, that is absent, septum is not present here. What is the blood supply of the penis? The penis is blood supply, is blood supplies from the internal pudendal artery and its branches, deep artery of the penis, dorsal artery of the penis. What is the mechanism of erection of Penis. Mechanism of erection is that 
We have a lot of cavernous spaces in the corpus cavernosa. They are filled by the deep artery of the penis, by the helicine arteries. So these spaces are filled up with blood. So there will be erection of penis. What is the lymphatic drainage of the penis? To the it goes to the superficial inguinal lymph node and deep inguinal lymph nodes. What is the nerve supply of the penis? Penis get, is getting nerve supply from the pudendal nerve, from the parasympathetic nerve, from the prostatic plexus, and from the sympathetic nerve from lumbar one, lumbar two. Parasympathetic component from S2, S3, S4. The pudendal nerve root value is also S2, S, S3, S4. What do you mean by erection? Erection means the entry of blood inside the cavernous spaces that causes the erection of penis. Okay. The anatomical position is the erect penis position. Okay. So the dorsal surface will go, upper surface will be, will, will be posterior. The ventral surface will be anterior in erection of penis. Okay. Okay, we got that. Then emission, emission is the release of the semen into the urethra from the prosthetic urethra. There is release of semen into the urethra up to the navicular fossa. Ejaculation is the ejection of the semen through the external urethral meatus to the exterior to the female genital organ. Okay, inside the female genital organ. Okay, what is the spinal cord segment for the sympathetic L1, L2? Parasympathetic S2, S3, S4. Okay, so we are looking at the corpus cavernosa, another one. This is the septum of the penis, and this is the cavernous spaces. They are getting blood from the deep artery of the penis, also called cavernous artery. From there, connecting blood to the cavernous spaces by means of the helicine arteries, helicine vessels. Okay, so if these spaces are getting blood flow, then there will be increase in the size of the penis, and penis will be erected. With the upper surface will go will will be posterior, ventral surface will come more or less anterior. Okay, we got that. And this is the venous drainage by means of dorsal vein of the penis and the superficial dorsal vein of the penis. Nerve supply are the branches of pudendal nerve. At the root of the penis, we have also contribution by the iliunguinal nerve. Here, dorsal nerve is a branch of the pudendal nerve. Okay, and we have here also some other artery, dorsal artery of the penis here. This is the deep artery of the penis. Okay, this is the corpus spongiosum containing the spongy part of the urethra. Okay. So urethra is the spongy urethra is surrounded by the corpus spongiosum. Okay. Okay. We we'll learn some clinical anatomy of penis. Hypospedius. When the urethra opens at the root of the penis on the ventral surface, on the under surface, then we call it hypospedius. Okay. Usually it cannot go to the navicular fossa, cannot go to the glans penis part. It is it open. In the corpus spongiosum, the proximal part of the corpus spongiosum, even near the scrotum, okay, on the under surface of the penis, in a under surface of the flaccid penis, okay, or maybe erected penis, the ventral surface of the penis here, 
phimosis what is phimosis there is the tightening of the foreskin over the penis so the prepuce is not cannot be retracted it is tightened to the glass penis that is the phimosis paraphimosis the prepuce or foreskin has folded back and it is it is it goes beyond the corona glandis and it constricts the neck of the penis that may lead to gang gangrene to the glass penis okay it is very difficult in this situation to get back the foreskin over the glass because it is it make a band or tightening around the neck of the penis because the foreskin has folded back circumcision that is the process of taking out or cutting out the foreskin that is so importance that is the inability to maintain erection of penis that may be due to lack of blood supply to the cavernous spaces so the medication which help in erect the medication which are used in case of in the management of high importance or in erectile dysfunction those medication will stimulate the blood flow to the cavernous sinus from the deep artery of the penis through the helicine arteries what is priapism priapism is a persistent erection of penis that may happen maybe due to a in case of some type of medication maybe is a side effect of the antirectal medication maybe as a complication of sickle cell anemia or maybe due to some unknown region where there will be persistent erection of penis that is very painful and that may per persistently erect it for more than four hours okay and that's all about the anatomy of the penis if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now